Hey yo, this is Dash, and I'm back out of my garage, back out at the trailer, and I'm hoping today I'll get a lot accomplished. It is like 70 degrees today here in Baltimore, so I have the garage doors open, garage doors open, and we are going to hopefully make some major progress on this trailer. So I started telling you guys about this trailer. I picked up this trailer for 50 bucks. And what I'm gonna do is try and keep a rolling total as to how much money I've actually put into the trailer. I think right now all told, I'm probably into the trailer about 250, 300 bucks uh, with buying the wheels and tires. They were $50 a piece. The um, the the metal here. This is again. This is a two by two by three sixteenths. It cost me twenty two or twenty three dollars a stick. This is two sticks. Um, when I say a stick, each stick was twenty four. No, each stick was twenty feet. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's a little less than. Uh, I think this is about fifteen feet. I have some left over here this is from that first stick actually hmm I have to do the math but I know I bought two more sticks which is another uh, 40 feet 40 linear feet and it cost me 50 bucks unfortunately I did buy uh, the I, I know this is pipe and I don't know if this is solid bar or round stock I don't I don't know how to call that metal but those each were those are 20 foot sticks and it cost me $20 for the round and $10 for the pipe or $10 for the pipe and, and $20 for the round unfortunately I wasn't able to use it uh, let's see what else do I have into the trailer so far oh the the light kit the new LED light kit was another 30 bucks because it was on sale at Harbor Freight and then I told you about the hinges the hinges were about 20 bucks and then the D-rings I have 12 uh, 12 D-rings here um, those D-rings were uh, da, 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 about 30 35 bucks so I will run a tab. Uh, I will run a tally towards the end of the series and uh, tell you exactly how much money I have into this thing. But for fifty dollars for a carcass, basically a VIN and uh, solid bones trailer. Oh, what else I'm going to have to spend money on is decking. I haven't exactly figured out what I'm going to do for decking just yet. I figured I'll build the trailer up, and then once I build the trailer up, I will figure out the rest later. All right. So at this point, I need to make my cuts. I'm going to be making the sides of the trailer. I figure I'll have one piece here, one piece here, one piece about here, and then one piece here. So four on this side, four on the other side, and two up front. I'm going to make the I'm going to make the uh, vertical pieces 20 inches long. 20 inches because uh, the frame of the trailer is actually two inches so two inches will be down on the frame 18 inches will be sticking up also because 20 inches is divisible into 10 feet these are 10 foot um, sections here and um, 10 feet is 120 inches so basically I'll be able to make out of uh, 20 linear feet I'll be able to make the sides that I'll need I'll have 10 pieces that'll stick up alright so uh, from there let's see what else I have to do let's start cutting these pieces out
Alright, so as you saw, I cut the vertical pieces for the, I don't know, I guess the rail. Um, at this point, I have the hinges. I'm going to figure out how exact or how best I should mount these hinges. And then I will mount, or actually, I'm probably going to tack these on and see how the action of the gate is. If it's, suffice, if, it, if it's sufficient. And then I'll go ahead and finish welding that on and kind of go from there. I was trying to fit the hinge. I was trying to fit the hinge onto the trailer, and what I forgot was this. Uh, this is a piece of a uh, two by two square tube, 11 gauge, I believe. And when I was welding this gate together, we noticed Kirk and I noticed that this last bit of rail was rusted out primarily on this side. So what he gave me, what, what he let me do was take a piece of this 2x2 two two square tube and I welded it all on there but when I welded it on there uh, I put a bracket basically a piece of angle on the back side to square up the entire corner on either side that being said it's moving the actual back of the trailer out by 3 16 so what I'm going to do is I made uh, some plates to put the to actually mount the hinges on so that when I mount the hinges to this plate of angle this will now sit flush with the bottom of the gate because it's been spaced out so hopefully that makes sense hopefully this works out let's let's get this stuff all tacked up I'm gonna get this cleaned up and tacked up Obviously, I would like to move this whole thing up. I probably should have welded the hinge vertically, but it didn't seem like it was going to uh, connect properly if I did it that way. So, hmm. say I am learning and as I'm learning I'm learning um, I don't know I don't know if I can fabricate something to to go from you know I don't know if it'll go from here down but the good thing is 
is. It works. Come on, tax hell. Back to the drawing board. No, you don't need a welding helmet to grind, but since it was already on my head, I figured why not. Scene one, fail. All right. So the problem with the hinges being way out like this, it pushes everything back. So I'm gonna stand the hinge up like this, and then I'm gonna push the, that'll push the gate in probably an inch and a half, maybe two inches, which is fine by me. I'm not gonna complain about that. And then I'll try it again. Hopefully it'll work the way that I need it to work. Um, but we shall see. So let me get this other uh, hinge cut off and I can go from there. Alright, so I turned the hinges the other way, and here goes nothing. If you have any questions about how to use a grill, how to grill, just questions period, leave a question in the comment below and I will do my best to try and answer it for you.